Hey my friends, welcome back to a new video. Today we'll be talking about the upcoming new moon coming up tomorrow, Friday, May 19th. It's in the zodiac sign of Taurus. And Taurus is uh, bringing the energy of stability, the, the support when it comes to material manifestation, financial growth, finding a new way when old one doesn't work anymore. It is reminding you that you deserve the best, that it's time for you to trust, to be patient and to create a life that will be independent from things that may be controlling you right now. You may feel controlled because of finances, you may be, be controlled because of your job or certain person or whatever it is. It's time for you to recognize what is truly caging you, what is kind of not allowing you to be free, because freedom is our internal experience. It doesn't mean that you should quit your job, but you should most definitely let go of limiting beliefs that are making you living in prison. So there's many things we can do to use this energy of this new moon for the greatest possible transformation. And I want to give you an intuitive update of how to use this energy and what to do with it. So the first one is, as with this energy comes a great power of manifestation, the law of manifestation we, is right now uh, much more, much stronger, if we can say that way, like it is supporting you to use your mind intentionally, live your life intentionally. And what is intention? Because we may get confused sometimes. What is intention? Is it an affirmation? Is it an inspired act? What is it? To live intentionally means that we live in awareness that we are part of the great web of life. Why it is important? Because it reminds us that we are not separated from our desires. We are not separated from our wants. Whatever we want is already present in the field. And to live intentionally then means that we live in faith and trust that what is meant to find us will find us. That whatever we are working on right at this moment will find us. That results will find us. It helps us to let go of a sense of separation, like what I need is not present yet, so I should be in lack of it. It's an illusion. To live intentionally means that you are living in spirit, and spirit is that great web of life, which means that you live as you know that you deserve all the, all the best and therefore all the best will find you. It doesn't mean that you say to yourself, all the best will find me and then you get in lack, right? And then you get in that separation. To live intentionally means that you fully embrace your calling and do whatever you feel that is necessary to do to make this wanting results without some forced hard work, but rather inspired work and great sense of trust, right? Sometimes we need to visualize the outcome to remind ourselves how it feels like. And we need to keep raising our emotional state until we feel as that wish is already fulfilled. So make some financial goals out of it. Make some life goals. Whatever things that you want to manifest physically right now, make goals out of it and know that you are the part of this great web of life. And as long as you are keeping up with transformation, overcoming your laziness with an opportunity to grow, with being curious for learning, questioning your fears with curiosity, you are evolving, you're growing and expanding your consciousness. And as long as you're doing that, you're living in spirit and you will be inspired to keep up, right? You will be inspired with great ideas that will help you to make a greater financial growth because 
the purpose of your gifts is to share them with others and once you build skills and whatever is necessary to share your gifts with others to share your unique energy your authentic self with others you will be rewarded for your work but you need to let go of lack you need to let go of that reactive mentality and in order to let go of that what this new moon is reminding you right now is to fully embrace what is calling you fully embrace what is calling you get into the subjects into into books into information into anything that can feed your mind with uplifting thoughts it will help you so much at this phase and know that you're the magnet for miracles that you're magnet for health that you're magnet for beautiful relationships and you're magnet for financial growth keep it up keep working on whatever you desire to create keep it up that is a powerful energy right now a beautiful support to make it happen be intentional and to make financial goals something i mentioned what does it mean it means that you ask yourself what would be that ideal income for you something you want to receive each month and then limit yourself maybe right now you can't see the possibility for the next month or for the months that are ahead of us but what about in the next three years how much change you can make if you just open your mind if you ask yourself okay if all those projects that i'm working on actually succeed in what kind of life everything can turn to right how things can actually unfold if you open your eyes and mind for greater possibilities because it's all mental right a law in alchemy the world is mental so change your mind and your life will start adapting to your new mind make some financial goals right now and make goals for any material things like in 2018 i've started writing down what kind of car i want to have what kind of things i want to have so i can feel and work on whatever is important to me so i can make art so i can feel um that uh, i have everything i need uh, so i can fulfill whatever i whatever desires i had back at the time i was writing all those things down i've completely unlimited myself and few years later all those things happened i bought the car that i always wanted to have i me and maya moved to the place uh, that is a manifestation of our dreams and so on it all happened but it didn't happen immediately it happened like at the time when we almost forgotten that we ever wanted it and funny thing is once you get it it's not so important anymore it's like oh nice because anyway it's not about those things those are just um you know ties all material things are just ties uh how neville goddard called that because life is a game right and we need to play with it we need to play with it so make sure that you are as playful as you can be right now the second thing i want to give you with um, this present energy is to step out of your comfort zone and go after your dreams intentionally and boldly that's something i also shared with you in the previous video a quick message about boldness and if any of that already resonates with you hit the like button and subscribe to this channel because it helps algorithms to push this video to more people who needs to see it to be inspired by it step out of your comfort zone and go after your dreams intentionally and boldly what does it mean we hear it often step out of your comfort zone yesterday i was sitting by the river and I got this thought that think deeply about what is holding you back right now and what kind of excuses 
you've made up. So you would not be willing to overcome your fears. That's something that came to me. I was meditating by the river and I said, well, this is profound. How many reasons we make up just so we would not be willing to overcome our fears and fully embrace our inner calling? How many reasons we make up? Think about this. To step out of your comfort zone means that you completely break the routines of your life. You do something new, you find a new perspective, so you can recognize how much you've been living in a prison of your routines. Not that routines are bad, routines are good because they help us to maintain or to sustain life that we want to live, but when our routines become so boring that uh, we stop being inspired for living, it's time to make a change. And many of us may feel right now like it's time to make a change. Like it's almost time to say it's over right now. Because a new life is awakening. So to step out of your comfort zone means that firstly you recognize that you are in the comfort zone right now. And admit to yourself, well, I am in the comfort zone. And that's where the universe can't reach you. Usually the universe can't reach you in the comfort zone because your energy is much um, lower than it's supposed to be. You are not fully living. And usually when people are, people are lost in their comfort zones, they start lacking the goodness, feeling of goodness of life, feeling love for life, feeling passion for creating. Usually in comfort zones, we lose that. And then we go to travel and we recognize, oh, I'm not so depressed. Oh, life is so beautiful. Oh, look at so many wonderful things all around me, right? What we needed, we needed a refreshment. We needed a new perspective. We needed something new in our lives. And every single day, we can reinvent ourselves. So you need to remind yourself that it's time to completely reinvent your life. If you don't feel satisfied, reinvent your mindset. Reinvent your daily behaviors. Reinvent your habits. Reinvent your spirit, your soul. Reinvent yourself. How can we do it? Well, sell the things you don't need. <laughs> Let go of the things you don't need. That's something I did in 2017. Me and Maya sold everything I had, only the things we truly needed. We kept what we needed and we put it into a car and we went to travel for months. We went to travel for months and we said, we'll be traveling as long as we find out what we truly want to do with our lives. Of course, we've been saving money for more years because that was our vision to do. But once we did it, it was so liberating. You know, when you separate yourself from people you know, you move to unknown places, you don't know what is waiting you there, you don't know what kind of people you will meet, you don't know what will happen. But at the same time, you know, as you are a bit afraid of how things will go on, you feel excited for what is waiting you. And that was so beautiful. As soon as uh, we started doing that, I started feeling creative again for drawing. And that was the time I started drawing. And later when we came back home, I started painting. And the whole journey to where I am right now started back then. So it's never too late to reinvent yourself. The third thing I want to give you for this uh, powerful new moon. To say that um, it's over for your old self because the new self is emer emerging is to recognize something I mentioned before. Wherever you've been holding yourself back until now, let it go, let it go and move out of your way. 
move out of your way. This is something that also came to me yesterday as I was meditating by the river, something to share with you. I set an intention like, um, what thoughts could be the most meaningful for this time? And the most profound one was to move out of your way. So remind yourself to move, to move out of your way. And what does it mean? What does it mean? Well, how often you want to experience a change and then you're forcing the outcome because you don't know how it will find you. You, you don't fully believe in the possibility that it can find you. Well, it's time to change your approach about how things are manifesting because things are ma manifesting with you or without you, right? When your body is growing, you're not thinking about how it needs to grow, how the nails are growing, how your hair is growing, uh, how the cells in your body are dividing. You don't think about it. It's happening naturally, right? And we are all coming from a certain state of inner nature that is unfamiliar to our conscious comprehension, conscious understanding. And we all came here, we all have been born with a purpose, with a mission. So to move out of our way means that you allow that inner mission, that inner purpose to be revealed to you completely naturally and spontaneously. You can't force to find it out right? Like I said, how I found this whole mission that I'm working on right now. We went to travel. We've sold things we, we didn't need anymore. We let go of everything. We've removed ourselves from people we knew, from our families, from everyone. We went to completely new places, traveling, exploring, being playful and joyful. And the calling found me. That's how naturally things find us when we let go of pillars of fake identities, of false stories we are telling to ourselves. That's how we move out of our way. Let go of false stories you are telling to yourself and actually embrace what you feel deep inside that you need to do. Because we all feel that we need to do something because we feel sometimes unsatisfied with how our lives are going. But deep inside we know what we need to do, but we are ignoring it. We are ignoring it because we think it's not possible or what people will say, right? What people will say. And often we identify with what people are saying about us. It becomes our reputation, right? It's all part of ego. So remind yourself to do the things that you feel deep inside that you need to do. You will see, you will stop forcing things because you will do what feels right. That's how you move out of your way. Stop forcing things, let things be. You can always change your approach of the future, but you need to find your, you need to feed your mind with the right information that will actually uplift you right? Because if you look around, you may find many reasons to be sad, but you will never be sad enough to transform your life in a positive way, right? You will never be broke enough to help somebody financially. You will never be unhappy enough to help someone to be happier. Right? So the only way to actually change the life, your life and life of others is to uplift yourself first. So make sure to notice what you've been holding yourself back until now. Be honest with yourself. This new moon is reminding you to reinvent yourself and be, be so honest with yourself that you will never go back into the old way of living because you don't belong there anymore, right? You don't belong there anymore. And the fourth thing I want to give you for 
this uh, new moon, something I also got yesterday is to notice what gives you a sense of stability and groundedness. And again, people will say a sense of stability comes with uh, finances and with certain material things, something I used to talk. But then I've noticed that um, I went from doing okay financially to being broke to being abandoned. But in all those different states, I've noticed that I always wanted more. A part of me always wanted more. Until I've noticed that stability doesn't come from abundance. It comes from feeling abandoned. Independently from my environment. There's the energy of abundance and there's the manifestation of abundance. We need to stay in the energy of abundance. And it's completely different than just receiving something that is a symbol of abundance, like a certain amount of money or going to some beautiful places. Energy of abundance means that every single day we wake up gratefully, with a grateful heart. And we keep reminding ourselves to, to be grateful, because we have this opportunity to, to grow, to explore, to meet new people, to learn from people, to do the things that inspire us, to live in spirit, right? So notice what gives you a sense of stability. Because to me, I feel the most stable when I'm the most me, right? When I'm an authentic version of myself, that's when I'm stable. Not because I have abundance of many material things that I was blessed with, but because I know how to tap into my authenticity. It brings me a sense of the greatest possible stability. That's just something I can't lose. It's something nobody can take from me. So if I stay in it, I am stable. So remind yourself to find your greater or greatest sense of stability and groundedness. What brings you a sense of being grounded? Is this a... Uh, time in nature or is this maybe a good meditation a certain practice that allows you to tap into your inner nature is this having beautiful conversations with people you love is this doing something that um, that reminds you of um, who you truly are like making art singing often or dancing or playing a certain instrument like piano or guitar or uh, whatever. So why it is important? It's important so we can balance ourselves because life is all about rhythms, right? Like a pendulum. The pendulum swings. It goes to the left and it goes to the right. And when it goes to the left, we may feel more down, we may feel uninspired, we may feel disconnected, we may feel like everything is uh, going against us. Those are the times when we need to learn how, how to feel stable, how to ground ourselves. So we need to have certain uh, tools and routines, rituals that allow us to be grounded, to stay grounded, to be stable. And then the pendulum swings to other side when we feel high on life, when we feel completely inspired and motivated and, and everything is, you know, moving forward and we feel like, oh, life is so great. But it's all part of the pendulum. Life is the pendulum, not the swings on the pendulum. It's all part of life. But you need to know that you're the core of it, not the product of the swings. <laughs> You're the core of it, which means that wherever you find yourself, you need to tap into your inner stability so you notice that you are not what's happening, but how you're experiencing it, right? 
you are you're the observer and the experience of it at the same time so make sure that you stay in that state of an observer and just notice oh this is happening right now oh it's an interesting journey right and then your soul is thriving the most when you're learning lessons because that's something nobody can take from you right that's why it's so important to notice what allows you to to be stable and grounded so notice that this is a beautiful time to to deepen your roots in this areas right at this time because in the future many wonderful things may happen for you many great things but also many hard things the world is shifting many hard things will come up something that may shake many of us and move us a little bit but if we have strong roots in what allows us to be stable and grounded nothing can move us you know storms make trees grow deeper roots and we are the trees deepening our roots so we just observe okay well everything is transforming i am with nature here so my mission is to transform to grow to evolve to expand so i'm just observing and learning from what is happening that's all I can do. I can't control what's happening because it's not my job. I can only observe, right? And focus on what's best for all. So make sure that you are feeding the seeds of the fruits you want to see growing on this wonderful planet. <laughs> focus on what you want to see on the world. And set some important intentions and make sure that you're living connected not disconnected make sure that you go from reactor to creator that every single day you take time to create your future you take time to design life because often if we don't do it our environment will be manipulating our minds to create what maybe we don't want to see so make sure that you ground yourself that you tap into your inner authenticity your true self and you visualize the life you want to live you feel as it is already real and you ask yourself what can i do today to make it happen what can i how can i nurture the seeds with my actions what habits would embody the virtue of wisdom right and what can I learn from my fears so I can embody the virtue of courage? <laughs> and that's how you will get into a greater degree of self-control, self-awareness that will allow you to live the life you want to live every single day with an open heart and expanded level of your consciousness. So my friends, I hope you found something valuable today. I hope you've enjoyed in today's playful painting. And if it inspired you, you can get a piece of it in our Etsy shop. I draw my passion. The link is also in the description of this video. Go there and check it out. I'm sending you lots of love, blessings and power. Till next time, one love.